may now be seated. Pilipino, kaling natin ito. Nagpapatuloy ang ating live ABS-CBN sports coverage ng 30th Southeast Asian Games. And tonight, we once again feature our men's volleyball team as they look to pick up win number two in the tournament as they take on Vietnam. From Indonesia. Second referee Kenneth Wong from Singapore. It's now time to meet the starters. First for Vietnam. Outside hitter number three, Dong Van Kien. Middle blocker number six, Nguyen Kang Hai. Outside hitter number eight, Lei Kwang Kam. Center number 10, Ding Van Tu. Middle blocker number 12, Nguyen Ding Yu. Opposite hitter and their team captain, number 14, Tu Tang Tuan. And their libero, number one, Huynh Chung Chung. Head coach for Vietnam is Tai Quang Lai. Let us now make some noise for the starters for the Philippines. Outside hitter number one, Brian Bagunas. Setter number three, Joshua Retamar. Middle blocker number six, Kim Malapunga. Opposite hitter, their team captain, number 10, Jadvik de Guzman. Middle blocker, number 12, Francis Saura. Outside hitter, number 15, Mark Espejo. And their libero, number 13, Jack Kalinke. Head coach for the Philippines is Dante Alit Sunuri. There is only one minor change with regards to the starting lineup of the Philippines, and that is with the libero position. Jack Kaling King will be starting this match instead of NU's Ricky Marcos. But the other positions all the same, and why not? After picking up that straight sense win against Cambodia to open up their campaign in a men's volleyball tournament here in the 30th. Southeast Asian Games. Mabuhay Pilipinas and welcome to our coverage on s &A on I Want. And we're also saying hello to everybody watching on sports.ebs-cbn.com. I'm Anton Ross and joining me for this broadcast is Coach Ronnie Magsanok. Once again, please be reminded to turn off the flash of your cameras or cell phones. Thank you very much. Itong laban na ito, pwede mong masabi na sipaan na for the right to make it to the next phase. A win here today for the Philippines. In spite of the fact that this will only be their second win, Kung Saka Sakale will guarantee a spot in the semis. And Dahil that is because to, Indonesia, papasok, right? Indonesia won earlier in straight sets against Cambodia, so right. they are at 2 and 0. The Philippines looks to attain the same record to advance. Now, if we're going to look at the statistics of Vietnam's straight sets loss against Indonesia, only one player. Scored in double digits, their team captain, number 14, playing the opposite hitter position, Tu Than Thuan. So, siya ang kailangan markahan ng Pilipinas dito. John Victor Guzman scoring off the block for the first point of our team. Very important for the Philippines, of course, to be really solid with their net defense. Uh, this comes after we saw Vietnam last night beat the Philippines 15 to 9 in terms of kill blocks. Let's see if Vietnam will continue to rely on their captain Tu Tan Thuan because they, their reliance on him was very excessive in that first match against Indonesia and they went to him on the first two tosses there. This is Duong Van Tien, had four points against Indonesia. Retamar tossing it up to Pagunas. 
and a lot of people were the entire country in fact raving about the performance of Retamar. Josh Retamar yeah. in his SEA Games debut coach it was uh, something that uh, many people did not expect but based on what we saw Retamar throughout his uh, young UAP career truly capable extremely gifted and uh, he combined of course with Magunas and uh, Marcus Pejo who scored in double figures for the Philippines as this uh, tandem had 35 out of the 79 points scored by the Philippines against Cambodia in that 78 minute win in the first match of Team Philippines Magunas trying to slam that volleyball down but it is Vietnam that's able to do that right in transition Vietnam able to counter attack you pointed out uh, the leading scorer of Vietnam who had 19 points out of the 73 attempts for Vietnam in that uh, loss to Indonesia he had 34 of the 73 shots taken by Vietnam against Indonesia and coach Thai Quang Lai of Vietnam making an adjustment number six who Played sparingly. Played one set. Played one set in that first match against Indonesia starting when Than Hai. It was an attack error already committed by the Guzman, but then let's take a look at this uh, sequence because the point will go to the Philippines. Would be a net touch called against uh, Vietnam. The Philippines had 17 kill blocks in that win versus Cambodia with uh, Retamar registering uh, six kill blocks. Scored 11 points of his own. Amazing performance. Vietnam able to tie things up. Bagunas trying to get busy at the top of the net. So in the early goings, Tu Than Juan continues to be in attack mode as we have our first challenge of the match. A lot of familiar names for our valuable followers. As we take a look at Ricky Marcos, of course, and Brian Bagunas and Kim Alabunga, key players for the National University Bulldogs, of which... National team head coach Dante Alinsinurin took to the finals and uh, they were able to win in the most recent UAAP uh, competition. Five NU players of coach Dante Alinsinurin in this lineup. Bagunas, Retamar, Malabunga, Saura, and Ricky Marcos. Well, of course, Rex Intal, Ish, Ish Polvorosa, and Marcus Pejo traces their roots to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. And we have not seen Polvorosa and Intal in action so far in the SEA Games. Abdilia and Umandal also did not see action in the first match against Cambodia, so I'm sure a lot of fans are excited to see those players contribute to our cause. Uh, Jao Mandal is uh, very young, but he has already made it to the Southeast Asian Games national uh, team roster. And that is... Uh, just a glimpse or uh, a picture on how good uh, this spiker is. Comes from uh, the Growling Tigers stable. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge was successful. Wow. Great call for the Philippines to point it against Vietnam. Very important to have a uh, blistering start against Vietnam. Guzman. It's a back set. And finally, Bagunas getting his hands on that volleyball. Over the blockers. Vietnam able to recover. And uh, Vietnam is able to score against Malabunga and uh, Retamar's two man wall. From a two point lead, Cushion is down to one for the Philippines. Kung may T4, yung women's team, T3 ba? T3 na. <laughs> Sabi ko na eh. 
Talagang, talagang mapalad ka ngayon. Ito. <laughs> At yan ang hinahanap natin. A little bit of uh, luck and divine intervention that you may be able to cross over to the semis eventually. Pagunas. Another one of his heavy, heavy serves. But Vietnam will cut into a two-point lead on their counter. Vietnam was 30 of 73. In terms of uh, shots taken against Indonesia, Indonesia, meanwhile, a very high rate at 50 out of 80. On the Philippines was 37 of 77 versus Cambodia. Cambodia, 37 of 84 versus the Blue Shirts of the Philippines. Bagunas with a back row bomb puts the Philippines on top 6 to 4. The second leading scorer for the Philippines behind the 21 points scored by the scoring machine. Marcus Pejo, Bagunas was 8 of 24 against Cambodia. Gandahan, huh? Going to the dynamic duo ni Espejo at itong si Magunas. Uh, Espejo also was uh, the second leading receiver para sa Pilipinas with 8 out of 18 excellent receptions. Now, two players who played only in the third set against Indonesia are making an impact right away. Number 6 and number 12, Gwen Than Hai and Gwen Din Nu. Uh, in the third set against Indonesia off the bench. Hopefully this will be the sign of uh, things to come not only for Espejo but for the rest of Team Philippines as we take a look at the uh, incoming sophomore for the Bulldogs. Retamar on deck to serve for the first time. First kill block for the Philippines in this match. They had 17 in that first match win versus Cambodia. 3.8 for the Philippines reaching the first technical timeout. Crossover the weekend. Josh Retamar back at the service line for the Philippines. As we lead 8 to 5. Another quick attack by the Vietnamese side. Espejo over the blockers. Two points for Espejo in the first set. The first of many to come for the former King Eagle. Who once registered over 50 points in the semi-final match. 55, coach. 55, uh, over 50 in a semi-final match versus FAU a couple of years ago. In a match that, coincidentally, you and I covered, right? <laughs> 55 points in a volleyball game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Meanwhile, Vietnam showing a lot of variety to start off this match, coach. Duong Van Tien getting involved for his ball club. And they need to be in that level in terms of ball distribution because I'm sure that they saw how well we defended Cambodia 17 out of 50 kill block attempts they go to the middle for Francis Saura specialty of the house for Saura a wild scramble for the volleyball another opportunity for the Philippines Look at them fly, look at them soar, and look at Baguna score. Everybody was flying high, misdirection from the left, even from the right. But Bagunas was the one who finished off that point for the Philippines. Saura, and then Espejo faking, attracting one blocker, and then freeing up Bagunas for a slight second to give the Philippines a chance to score. And Bagunas will score once again, four point deep, Philippines. Espejo loading up on that serve as he normally does. The Philippines committed 19 errors to Cambodia's uh, 16 during our first win. While for uh, Indonesia against uh, Vietnam, Vietnam only had 18. Indonesia committed 27 against them in the first loss of uh, Vietnam against Indonesia. Here's the pass. Here's the toss. And here's the spike from Brian Bagunas. Down the line coming from Bagunas. How 
many times will you see Marcus Pejo and Brian Pagunas playing for one team? They played against each other for the longest time in their UAAP careers. Espejo frustrated Pagunas so many times in their face-off until Espejo graduated and Pagunas was king of the UAAP together with the NU Bulldogs. Vietnam fighting hard, staying tough, but the Philippines still holding a three-point lead at 11-8. Now, although it's still very early in the match, the Philippines looks a lot more composed than they were in that first set against Cambodia, a set that was extended. That could have gone either way. Yes. They had to dig deep in that set. Coach Dante had to make some adjustments towards the end. But the Philippines came through. That was against two of the taller uh, blockers for Team Philippines getting scored on. Good fake, delayed two man wall for the Philippines. Eleven to nine in favor of the Philippines. At stake is a chance to advance to the semifinals. One of two teams that will advance to the semis in Group A. John Victor Guzman. Too strong on that serve. Now Vietnam's ranking in the FIVB is number 37. While for the Philippines, we are at number 117. Let me double check this. For Vietnam. Number 65, Philippines, number 131. I believe the earlier ranking was the women's. For the women's, right. Vietnam was the 2017 bronze medalists, meaning they finished third. But the Philippines secured a uh, 2005 podium finish, the last time that we were able to get to the medal round. Magunas playing with all his heart, with all his might, giving the Philippines a four-point lead. He is just super pumped up right now as Vietnam is forced to call for time. You just love the energy here inside the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig. We saw that last night also in the game between uh, Vietnam and the Philippines, especially in the first set wherein uh, Eliza Valdez, Jovi Gonzaga really energized the crowd at the Phil Sports Arena before Vietnam woke up, tied the match, and eventually won against Team Philippines in five ruling sets, dominating the fifth and final set against a hard-fighting unit. Led, of course, by Eliza Valdez. Bagunas leading the way so far for the Philippines in this match. 14 to 10 is our tally. Second service error for the Philippines. We had nine service aces versus Cambodia. Cambodia scored one single ace against the Philippines. Vietnam also had one of their own against Indonesia last uh, December 2nd. Here's the pass. And the toss to Espejo. Espejo once again shows us the qualities that made him a multiple MVP recipient in the UAP. Played as an import likewise overseas. And someone that our team sorely missed two years ago Correct. in Kuala Lumpur. And what an impact he has made. Power team for Vietnam. That will be uh, Nguyen Tan Hai who will score 
whom you pointed out earlier, played uh, briefly that match versus uh, Indonesia, but getting uh, early playing time against the Philippines. Wen Din Nu to serve it up. Two non-starters who are getting the starting net today. Over the seat. That's a free kick for Vietnam, and they will take that point away from the Philippines. Magunas over receiving. A better pass by Brian. Goes to the hey, middle. Right. Retamar. A familiar connection between the Bulldogs. Yep, that's the trio of Bulldogs connecting there with Brian starting it off with that nice pass to Josh Retamar. The Philippines on top, 16 to 13. 16 to 13 in this opening set. 11 point scorer in our win versus Cambodia. Retamar, a double threat with three service aces. Looks to add on to his ace tally and uh, looks to push the Philippines to a bigger uh, advantage versus Vietnam. Good first ball for Vietnam. Big play for Vietnam. The yellow shirts, Dong Van Tien scoring. Van Tien had four points versus Indonesia. Tied with the uh, Mu Mok Mong behind the 19 points delivered by Tu Tan Tuan. Bagunas tossing it up oh, for nice. Espejo. How about that? How about the delay for Espejo? Waiting for the blockers to go down a bit before striking the ball. It's not all about force, it's about timing. Well placed. Just a, a very accurate attack, attacker. So hard to defend. Espejo. And that time, Sinigurado ni Mark, napapasok yung bola. Hindi basta lakas, kundi yung precision. Oh, nice fake play. This unit is playing with a lot of collision. And the rhythm is there for this unit. Look at that uh, set coming from Retamar. Pointing his body towards the open and then shifting that set to the right. Four point lead. Team you Philippines. Service ace. Kinargahana. Sobra. Kinargahana ni Mark Espejo. Look at Mark Alfafara, Ishpol Morosa. And the H-less, the evergreen Jesse Lopez. Who was very crucial coming in in that first set against Cambodia. Had the chance to cover coach Dante Edinson and Jesse Lopez playing for one uh, Philippine uh, international team that played against the best uh, players in the world. And that was a, uh, an invitational tournament hosted by the country uh, five years ago. And that's the type of role and leadership that you need for somebody like Jesse Lopez. The experience that he can impart to the younger of players course, of course. on this ball club. Retamar. Oh! Look at the float from the back, back row. For a spell, was he stepping on the line? Net touch. At the vertical, look at how long he stayed in mid air. Vietnam down by three as Dong Van Tien prepares to serve. Quick attack, second one for Saura, and he scores once again. Good ball distribution coming from Joshua Retamar, varying his sets and uh, just making sure that his points of attack are not easily identified by Vietnam's defense. Saura and the Philippines just five points away from taking set number one. Three blockers. Sinabayan itong si Le Quang Khan. Still a dangerous opponent. Can't let your guard down against the yellow shirts. Bronze medalists in the 2017 Southeast Asian Games in Kuala Lumpur. A win here today by the Philippines will move them over to the semis and will eliminate a third place team two years ago. Oh, 
over in Group A, Thailand, picking up a win, 1-0 against Singapore. And then Myanmar also defeated Singapore. So it looks like Thailand and Myanmar will be advancing from that group, Coach. That will be on the other draw. Of course, uh, Thailand has uh, dominated the opposition from 2011 to, to, uh, to 2017, winning for eight straight years, meaning four straight Southeast, Southeast Asian Games executions. Espejo with the absorption. Pakunas with just the right amount of wrist action to get the point for the Philippines. 22 to 17 now. Here in the opening set. Timeout, Vietnam. And Coach Thai Quan Lai will call a timeout. In the first game, Kapansin Pansin na even though we are playing in our home country, coach, right. there was a little jitters. There was a moment where the Philippines had to settle down. Yes. But here, it's a more relaxed type of game that we are seeing. A more well-oiled Philippine national more team. More confident as well. Iba na talaga yung nakakauna ka ng panalo eh. The months of preparation will only uh, give you so much in terms of application and execution. It really will boil down to the actual competition. Mika Marcos trying to keep that ball alive. Goes down with a thumb up sign that the, our uh, chief umpire will call that point in favor of Vietnam. Last time the Philippines landed in the medal round was in 2005. And a win here today will push us into a knockout match between uh, the top team. What, who could be the top team in the opposite draw? We still want, have one game to, to play after today's match against uh, Vietnam. Look at the height on that jump by Brian Bagunas. Unfortunately, an error right there. Vietnam will get the point. Bagunas looking for a cut shot will overshoot. Vietnam was down by five earlier. They call timeout. They eat up to the five uh, point uh, lead by the Philippines. Two points of that five point lead earlier. Now the advantage is a three for Coach Dante Edinsidor and the rest of the blue shoots. Coach Dante obviously does not want to take any chances here. He wants to make sure that his close players close yes. this one out convincingly and not give this Vietnamese squad any confidence look at the effort by Espejo and De Guzman to try to keep this ball alive Pagunas will go up for the hit Vietnam able to recover a chance to attack. Three blockers went up there. Bakunas is up there as always. And he sends that volleyball down. That is the happy place of Brian Bagunas. If Vietnam has a T3, we have B2. Bagunas will explode and detonate. An all-important point for Team Philippines, four point lead. And only two points away from winning the first set. A lot of multiple MVP winners for Team Philippines. What a save by Ricky Marcos. Back row attack by Bagunas. Quick attack by Vietnam. A whistle was blown. Umaalog yung net. Kwan Khan back at the service line. 
Here's the toss for Espejo. Wow. Zone 5 was the target. Deep, long. And look how fast the ball goes down. Disallowing anyone to cover. Four set points for the Philippines. As Pagunas and Espejo once again combining to lift the offense of the Philippines past the defensive schemes of Vietnam. That will be all here in the first set. The Philippines will close the door in Vietnam. Five-point margin, 25-20 in Philippines over Vietnam in the first set. It's a monster block to close out set number one. The Philippines have one foot inside the door. As you see the scene inside the Phil Sports Arena in Pasig City. Incidentally, Vietnam has not finished outside of the medal picture uh, since 2009. They finished third in 2011, third in 2013, second in 2015, before another third place finish in 2017. Well, for the Philippines, since 2001, we had a bronze medal finish the last time we hosted in 2005. And that's something we want to change after today's uh, win, should that happen. Dahil makakapunta tayo sa battle for bronze at least if you are able to make it past Vietnam in this uh, face-off. So if you're in Vietnam, the time is now to start playing with that sense of urgency after of what you just said. Of course, of course. Alam nila yan. They know for a fact that the Philippines is a fast starting team. Loaded offense. And the ceiling is uh, really better for the Philippines in this edition of the Southeast Asian Games. They have to respond right now. And they have uh, the first point of the second set. Duong. Over-received by Bagunas. The ball goes back to the Vietnamese side. A joust at the top. De Guzman able to push or push it towards the side of Vietnam. It was the offhand that De Guzman used to score against Vietnam in that joust. Let's take a look at that play again. That's uh, off the block against the two-man wall. And Espero will try to keep that ball in play to no avail. Two-point lead for Vietnam. Parang ito na, pinakamalaking kalamangan ng Vietnam laban sa Team Philippines. Retamar tossing it up to John Vick. Former Finals MVP in the NCAA for the Blazers. Remember the title run of... Uh, St. Middle Blazers. That was in 2017. He was the MVP. And he led CSB to its first and only Correct. men's volleyball championship in the NCAA. Other coach, Maki Carino. Is that correct? Arnold Lanyo. Arnold Lanyo. Maki Carino was for the women's. All right. Espejo. Able to get it across somehow. And again, the net defense, the blocking, 17 against Cambodia. Bagunas at four kill blocks against Cambodia. The effort, the two-way play, Saura, Bagunas combining to lock down on Vietnam's point of attack. And lockdown is the right word to describe how the Philippines has defended Vietnam captain Tu Than Thuan. Tutan Tuan had 19 against Indonesia. 19 of the 63 points of Vietnam coming from their top scorer, Tutan Tuan. Or T3 as a reporter and Tom Duck put it. Net For the record, they don't really call him that, coach. I, I just wanted to make a light moment. We can call him that. <laughs> because we always try to make our jobs easier. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Parang KKD lang yan. Yon. Kay Kianadi. O kaya yung kay Kai Balwalwa. Oo, oh, oh, haba eh, di ba? KNB. Correct. <laughs> Kai ni Pumosea na Balwalwa. <laughs> if you guys are watching right now, we hope you're enjoying. Wherever it is you're tuned in, SNA, I want, or sports.abs-cbn.com. Malinis ba? Malinis. So it malinis was na malinis. Unsuccessful challenge for Vietnam. Vietnam had an early two-point run. But now the Philippines is ahead by one on its own version of a three-point uh, 
three, three consecutive points. And this, as uh, Espejo tries to add on to this one-point lead, the first service ever for the scoring machine, Espejo. So many championships for Mark Espejo. In Ishpol Borosa. Three championships, coach. Three straight. Three pre and uh, both Espejo and Paul Borosa. Espejo, five time MVP. Wow. While Ish was five time best setter. So that's the legacy that they left with the Ateneo Blue Eagles. A legacy that will stand for a long time. And for so many years, as you were explaining earlier, They've been battling against their teammates right now. Oh, wow. And we've seen this so many times from Mark Jesus Espejo. A very accurate spiker. Even from the back row, Espejo will be able to deliver. Sara also had these moments in that set one win for the Philippines. Vietnam will tie the count at four apiece. The captain of Vietnam and their scoring machine, Tu Tan Tuan, has been checked so far here in this contest. Combination play, piston play for the Philippines. Malabunga losing that joust. He thought that he had, we had that point already in our pockets. But instead, Vietnam kept playing and will counter and will score against the Philippines. They will have a three-point uh, run of their own after losing a two-point lead earlier. They're back ahead by one at 5-4. Overshoots that one. Two Fan Tuan did. Both teams did one service error apiece here in the second set. Uh, the team captain of the previous team to the Southeast Asian Games in Kuala Lumpur in 2017, Jan Vic de Guzman. Running attack. We haven't seen a lot of those from Vietnam. Not yet. But they have to execute something like a slight play simply because the blocking of Team Philippines has been on point. And you know, eventually, the Philippines will also execute that slide play. It was Jesse Lopez who executed the first slide play for Malabunga that really turned the tide. We were saying, as we were saying. Specialty of the house for Malabunga. Tying the count at six. And Malabunga, judging from the reaction on his face, he loved that one. Specialty of the house. Eight points for Malabunga in that win versus Cambodia. One service error for Espejo, one service error for Bagunas in the set so far. The long service errors for the Philippines, Isa for Vietnam. Vietnam with a chance to head into this technical timeout with the lead as they are up right now 7-6. to six. Retamar, who will he go to? Pecos man with nobody there to meet him in the air. Excellent delay for Retamar, faking as it was. He was going to uh, the quick play for Malabunga. Instead, he finds John Vic de Guzman on the right side. Here's the toss, here's the hit, and another monster block delivered by the Philippines, courtesy of the 19-year-old setter sensation, Josh Retamar. The Philippines leads Vietnam 8-7. to seven. This is the Philippines 2019. Third. Prior to heading into that technical timeout, we are in the second set. The tally is 8-7 to seven as Malabunga serves it up. Para sa Pilipinas. And there's the response from Tu Fan Thuan. Panoorin natin muli. The captain of Vietnam, the opposite hitter, goes cross court for the kill. And the setter now, 
Din Van Tu starting off this new rally Espejo Good recovery for Vietnam. Up by one at 9-8. Retamar goes to the middle for Francis Saura. Enough contact on the volleyball for Saura to keep that ball across. Or get, get that ball across and down as quick as possible. This is a totally different storyline uh, compared to what we saw in the first set when the Philippines controlled majority of the match. Wire to wire win for the Philippines in that first set uh, success. But here's a nail biter of a set tied at nine. Vietnam up by one. And that quick play coming from Wang. Well, let's take a look at it one more time as Wang goes up. To nine. Vietnam holding on to a one-point lead. Retamar tossing it up to De Guzman. Nothing there. This time he goes to the other side for Espejo. Could not generate some power on those spikes. Another chance for Vietnam. Drop ball attempt does not work. And again, the net defense of the Philippine team securing a critical point. Could have been a two-point hit for Vietnam instead. It's that one again at 10 apiece. And that's what Coach Dante Alinsonurin shared with our colleague Mosey Ravenna. As she shared with us in the first coverage, tinutukan talaga nila yung kanilang blocking. Tinrabaho talaga. That was the particular skill that they wanted to work on in preparation for these Southeast Asian Games, back row attack, and Saura was up there. And again, even in single coverage, that offensive block will be successful for Francis Saura. You mentioned earlier that uh, the Philippines had 17 kill blocks, 17 of our 79 points against Cambodia. That's 25% coming off our net defense. Vietnam ties things up at 11. Coming from uh, T3, the heart and soul of Vietnam. Retamar to Pakunas. You see the full swing coming from Brian Pagunas. Misdirection coming from Saura, delaying the second blocker, opening up things for Brian Bagunas. And once again, bullet sent by Bagunas for a one point lead for the Philippines. It's a back set, and again, to San Juan. Going down the line, beating the defense of uh, Francis Saura. Sara was the last line defense there as Bagunas was not able to contain. Kalinking gives it up to Bagunas. of Vietnam is starting to heat up. Understanding that uh, it will really take double the effort that he has put in to be able to get past the net defense of the Philippines. Better angle taken away from Malabunga and beating the coverage as well. Two straight points for Vietnam. Down one, now up by a single point. Retamar tossing it up. For Brian Bakunas. And look at Malabunga fish out 
the blocker. It was clear as day for Brian at the top of the net. That's why familiarity is so very important for teammates. Knowing what your teammate needs to get open and be isolated instead of being defended by a double block. And Espejo gives the Philippines back the lead. Fourteen to thirteen. Marcos guiding that ball Just in a fight. towards the way of Brian Bagunas. And again, former teammates helping each other out. Secure a vital point for the blue shirts. There are blue boys. Two point lead in Philippines versus Vietnam. Philippines up by a set, winning the first set handily versus uh, the third place team of the 2017 Southeast Asian Games, Vietnam. And Vietnam unable to send that back towards the way of the Philippines. And look at the energy. Our squad is pumped up as we take a 16 to 13 lead here in set number two. This is the Philippines 20. Vietnam will not be able to score on an open hit coming from A3. But on the return play, Vietnam will score another fake slide play. And then a back row play. A back row hit rather for Juan. So once again, Coach Ronnie, the reliance on Tu Than Tuan is on display here for the Vietnamese side. Right. Espejo. Off the block coming from uh, one of the top players in the country, Espejo. Who rises to the occasion, Betamar. Goes to, of course, one of our top scorers, one of our best attackers, one of our top spikers. Back set. And again, to Than Tuan. All over it here in set number two, Espejo all alone up top in Iwasan Lang. The two Than Tuan. Two back row points scored earlier by uh, Tuan. Now from the opposite, still not a problem for him. Vietnam chasing the Philippines. Philippines still up by one. Make that two, and the one point barrier still holds for Espejo and the rest of the Philippine team. This time it's Sara with this misdirection, freeing up Espejo to be isolated against the single block. Retamar. Here's the toss, the hit, the recovery. Espejo sends it back to the side of Vietnam. It's going to be a free ball Ooh. for the Philippines that goes outside. Espejo faking a strong hit, going off speed. And uh, the blockers were off balanced. And then on the counter push, Vietnam will give up another point to the Philippines. Three point hit restored by the Philippines, and we have hit 20 points to the 17 of Vietnam at this stage of the second set. Vietnam trying to hold on as the Philippines just five points away from taking a two sets to none lead. While the Philippines is aiming to pull away from the clutches of the bronze medalists of 2017. Trying to eliminate Vietnam in the running while trying to push their chances to land a medal in the knockout stage of the Southeast Asian Games. And end the streak of Vietnam correct, also of correct. podium finishes in the Southeast Asian Games. 
Bagunas had to adjust. Left-handed tip does not fall. Ooh. And again, right. Vietnam's main man continues to do damage. Just like uh, Retamar, when the need arises, you go to your go-to player. It's Espejo for the Philippines, and it's T3 for Vietnam. Retamar, back set back for set, Espejo. Right. Napakasipag. Magpasabit o magpakagat ng mga middle blockers, even for Vietnam. And that's why time and again you see spikers isolated. Sara faking, delaying the second blocker. Espejo will not be denied in that kind of a situation. Tagal-tagal tayo nakaiwas sa service error. Pero sa ating nais makadikit sa panalo sa second set, mabibigyan natin ng isang punto sa Vietnam. We're still up by two points. 21-19. adjustment coming from Retamar. And that is the advantage when you have a tall setter. Tall and lengthy. And Bagunas will finish off the 22nd point for the Philippines. Akala mo bibigay kay Saura. Look at the ability of Retamar to make the adjustment in mid-air. Again, the connection between two former teammates to give the Philippines a three-point lead. And he did it with just one hand too. Correct. Which makes it all the more impressive. Kaya lang, hindi na nahabol ng Pilipinas. Tooth Antoine is really like a machine. Just won't stop. Just like T4. Oh! Espejo had no choice. But they just toss it over to the other side. Tremendous effort coming from Kim Malabunga. Keeping his side on the counter play after a free ball was given by Espejo. That's the maturity shown by Kim Malabunga. He's only one of the tallest players for the country. And for the first time in these Southeast Asian games, Ran Ran Abdilia is now in for the Philippines. Jesse Lopez. And there we see the leadership from the legend from FEU. For Vietnam, number eight, out number nine, champion, best server, best setter in the UAP, and game changer, especially in that first set against Cambodia. And a very good locker room teammate, Kasama Anton. Very important. The positive influence that the veterans will emit to the younger players. And just like that, after that excellent serve there coming from Lopez, if this challenge is unsuccessful, touch. the Philippines will have four set points against Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge was successful. Tumama sa daliri, coach. Nearest day. 
Vietnam gets a point back. Let's see if Vietnam will be able to shatter two-point barrier. Kanina yung isa gusto nilang purayan ngayon. Katapos sumampas sa tatlo. Gusto nilang uh, laps, uh, lampasan itong two-point barrier na nakaharang sa kanila. But that very long serve will give the Philippines three set points. This is the first line of offense that you have to exploit to put pressure on the defense of your of the opponent. We had nine service aces against Cambodia. Vietnam, a total of one service ace in 75 minutes versus Indonesia in their first match. Bagunas. Oh. oh, yes. And he gets an ace to close set number two. Brian Bagunas. One set away to make it to the semis to the medal round for Team Philippines. Number one, Brian Bagunas loading up the bazooka <laughs> to get that service ace. And more importantly, the victory here in set number two. One more set victory away from booking a trip to the semifinals are the men's volleyball team of the Philippines. We'll be back for set Saka mo na problemahin yung sobrang mga lalakas. Importante <laughs> makatawid, makarating. At uh, mabura yung isang contender which is Vietnam. Eh kanina, yung Cambodia dumikit pa sa dulo ng uh, laban nila ilang, kontra sa Indonesia. Ilang, ilang final score dun sa third set? 33-31. Kaya pala nandiyan pa kayo ni Mel. Eh. Oh, sinabi nga ni Mela Tunay, pinaasa lang ng uh, Indonesia yung Cambodia. Eh. Tuloy. Naging clingy masyado yung Cambodia, kumapit sa Indonesia. Ayaw, pakawalan, coach. <laughs> clingy. And the Philippines starting out the scoring here in the third set. Vietnam equalizes right away. It was tight in the second set until the Philippines built a three-point lead as we cross the second technical timeout. And then parried off repeated chase downs coming from Vietnam after the last part of the second set. Oh, wow. It looked like De Guzman was going to go up for the hit, but that was a quick set to Francis Saura by Josh Retamar. Panoorin natin muli dito sa replay. It's all about deception. It's all about making sure that the defense is not able to read the sets of uh, Joshua Retamar. Another kill block. Alam mo, coach, once the blocking gets established, it's very hard for any team to break through it as we see De Guzman and Malabunga roof the Vietnamese spiker. Malab Malabunga doing what he does best. Protect the net for the Philippines. The tallest player in the roster. Probably at around 6'4 or 6'5. And then back-to-back -back offensive blocks for the Philippines. Tied at one. Three point uh, two consecutive points for Rico Marcos. And uh, the Philippines, and now we're up by three. I remember that in our first match against Cambodia, we swept the Cambodians in uh, 78 minutes, winning three straight sets. This will be four straight points for Bagunas, for Sara, Malabunga, and Espejo. Tied at one, now we're up at 5 1 here in the third set to the delight of Umandal and even Mark Alpapara. And Vietnam calls a timeout. Coach Tai Quang Lai sensing that the Philippines are trying to create some separation and pull away and cruise to another straight sets victory here in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. And what a play right there. And coming off a set where in the Philippines tallied five kill blocks, the wall continues to be put up. May maaga pang regalo. And this is going to be key for the Philippines to sustain this winning run three, in the Southeast Asian Games. The ability to defend consistently and our capacity to shut down the points of attack by our opposition. 
At uh, kanina nakita natin si Ancheta, isa pang teammate na Brian Bagunas, rejoicing, celebrating every point ng ating uh, mga national players. Up by 4 at 5-1, like that by 5. And Vietnam has seemingly lost some steam. <laughs> at dahil doon, napasaya o si Ricky Marcos at hindi na tayo nagugulat because we know how much energy Ricky Marcos sila, has ever since. Sila ni Ancheta. Laging o si Ancheta, nasa crowd. Nasa crowd si Beno. Madaling makita dahil malikot. <laughs> Winawagayway yung Philippine flag. All out support para sa ating mga manalaro. Eh, ang ikli lang ng separation dyan eh. Very intimate venue itong uh, Field Sports Arena. Quick attack for Vietnam. Stopping a five-point run for the Philippines. Trying to stay afloat amidst this uh, third set blitz. Striking before uh, John Big de Guzman was able to rise. And that was Wang scoring the second point for Vietnam. Mok Wang Vu. Trying to inject some life into this Vietnamese unit, but adjustment. malapunga. Right, adjustment by Retamar again. Doing the near impossible. If you can take a look at that last play again, look. Adjustment. Tinamaan pa yung kamay niya. Yes. May contact, ha? Unbothered. Oblivious. He's just playing the game. He's just playing the game. And he's been playing the games of his life. Back-to-back -back spectacular performances for Joshua Retamar to give the Philippines a six-point lead. A luxury at this stage of the match to add on two or two set advantage versus Vietnam. It is an 8-2 advantage for the Philippines who are looking to cruise to another straight sets win here in their campaign in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. Malabunga had to improvise. Now Retamar goes to Bagunas who scores off the block. One all was the count in the first two rallies since that time. The Philippines has been able to get eight of the last nine points. Tied at one, now on top by seven. Philippines looking good. De Guzman and the Philippines holding their biggest lead of the match. Right. This was something that we wanted to do against Vietnam last night in the women's competition. But we were not able to do eventually. Kasi nakabalik eh. At nakalamang. Retamar tossing it up to Brian. Another good misdirection coming from Kim Malabunga. Marcos. Binigay kay Pagunas. Binigay pa kay Malabunga. And Retamar will tip it to the other side, making sure that ball went inside the zone. And then an offensive block once again coming from Retamar to the delight of Coach Arnold Lanyong. You mentioned this name earlier, right. Coach. Chief architect of the title run for the CSB Pacers, led, of course, by finals MVP, John Vic de Guzman. In that sequence, a lot of spectacular plays delivered by the Filipinos. And uh, right now, playing their best in their bid to close the deal and seal the door against the hard-fighting team from Vietnam. 10-2, 8-point lead. The biggest and largest cushion for the Philippines all throughout this match. And this is the best that we've seen our men's volleyball te team here in these Southeast Asian games. They're just, they're just toying with Vietnam right now. They've won 10 of the last uh, 11 points. From a tie at one all, they will continue to keep harping on that scoring run. Because this is a major separation between the Philippines and Vietnam at this stage of the third set. De Guzman. Here's the pass. Here's the toss. It's a back set. Pagunas was all and all up top. 
The Vietnam will score off the block. Tuan unhappy with the situation, but he can change the course of this set. As we take a look at uh, Alfred Valbuena. Valbuena who comes from the Fighting Maroons. Checking out his former counterparts. Club to three is our tally. All right, no two point run for Vietnam in the set so far. And another ace from Bagunas. It's about applying the finishing touch, displaying the killer instinct. Bagunas continues to show the kind of stuff that, that made him nearly unstoppable in the previous UAAP season. The biggest lead enjoyed by our men's volleyball team here in these Southeast Asian Games. We have never looked better, but even though we may be on our way to securing a spot in the semifinals, coach, we want to remain sharp because we still have one more match remaining it in will the be against round, Indonesia, correct? who has not lost a set. Right. This is the best set I've seen of our national team against a contender. And watching the Indonesian squad, meron din silang mga katulad ni Brian Bagunas, Marami. Mark Espejo. So that's something I can't wait to witness, coach. Looking forward, of course. But first things first, we have to finish off Vietnam. One and match at a time. Right, and we are 11 points away from doing that. Espejo trying to swipe it off the hands of the blockers. Looking for the last touch on Vietnam. Looking for the check. From one all, Philippines has scored 13 out of uh, the last uh, 17 points. Malabunga from Again. the middle. Wicked coming from Team Malabunga. Excellent reception. Still no two-point runs rendered by the Philippines here in the third set. Remember the days when we first saw Malabunga come into the Malabunga. Bulldogs oh. program? He was already six foot five, right. Tumangkat pa six foot six. But the agility is not where it is years before. The evolution. Iba na gumalaw eh. This was something that we anticipated, waited for, and it's happening right here when we need it the most. Retamar. De Guzman firing from the back row. Another back row attack, this time from Brian Bagunas. Bagunas to the right, Bagunas at the center. Two main scoring weapons to the disposal, of course, of Joshua Retamar. 10.8, the Philippines up versus Vietnam as we reach the second technical timeout. The streak of podium finishes for Vietnam is on the line here, and the Philippines poised to end that tonight. As we have a 16 to 6 advantage here in set number three. Down to nine. Last push for Vietnam to eat up into what was once a 10 point uh, advantage for Team Philippines. Misdirection, isolation. And Han will score. Their number 11 for Vietnam was, uh, I believe, scoreless. 
in two sets last time they played against Indonesia. Or had one point in uh, three sets. Came off the bench in the first two sets. Started in the third set. Vietnam trying to keep this ball in play. Espejo. Wow. A rocket from the service line and Bagunas. Single block. And Bagunas, the scoring machine, can really play tough net defense. Now, this is an aspect of Brian Bagunas' game that... That we never he, saw in the early years. And clearly here, he is working on it or has worked on it, coach. Oh, definitely. Kasi kanina pa niya... Kanina pa niya sinusubukan hulihin yun eh. Since the first set. And the numbers will show. He had four out of the 17 kill blocks by the Philippines uh, against Cambodia. And it's no accident that we are seeing the excellence of the Philippine team in terms of blocking. This is something that they really prepared for. And that has to be a constant throughout, not just in the Southeast Asian Games competition, but throughout the rest of uh, this roster. Dahil kung ikaw ay compete against the giants of Southeast Asia and even on the Asian level, kailangan mo talaga niya. And now we have the height and athleticism to be able to deliver this type of omnipresence in our net defense. Nakangiti na ang ating mga malalaro looking sharp but very relaxed. Understanding a two-set advantage and a dominant third set showing against Vietnam. One-handed set, unable to generate a proper spiking opportunity. <laughs> that will be long for Espejo. But we can live with that, given the cushion that we have. We have still not allowed Vietnam a string of two points. Here in the third set, from a one-all count, we have taken 18 of the last 26 points. Bagunas. 19 of the last 27. We we're expecting the same script or storyline like what we saw in the second set when it was a nail biter before a pull away by the Philippines in the latter part of the second set. This is a different story. This is a big statement, big statement by the Philippines. Playing three notches higher today against Vietnam, a team much better than the team that they defeated the last time they played against Cambodia. The Philippines finishing fifth two years ago, and we will surely finish above that with this impending victory. And what a time for five time UAP best setter and three time champion Ish Polvorosa to enter the fray. Imagine the adrenaline rush for Ish Polvorosa first time in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. And of course, Ran Ran Abdilla, who is recognized as a hero in Tawi Tawi City, Mindanao. Nalala ko si Fauci Ismail, eh, no? also Idol niya. Tawi -tawi, oh. Idol niya, itong si Ran Ran Abdilla. Abdilla was the one who inspired Fauci to play considering na hindi volleyball yung unang sport nila doon it was actually football so because of Abdilla maraming na-inspire na mag-shift din na maglaro ng volleyball uh, Tuan has been silent since playing uh, the hardest dun sa set 2 na pagkatalo binibigyan talaga nila si Ran Ran coach bakit hindi malamig pa so sa Mga naka-line-up dito sa Pilipinas, si Umandal na lang at si Rex Intal yung hindi pa natin nakikita. First two-point run for Vietnam here in the third set. And there it is! Very seldom do you find Abdilla. Abdilla missed two in a row. First point for Abdilla in the Southeast Asian Games. Coming from Ish Polvorosa. Scoring against a double block. Coverage was absent. As the Philippines inches closer to win number two. Three points away from making it to the semis with still one game left to play for Team Philippines. Abdilla's the counterpart of Jovelin Gonzaga from the women's team as a player who came from a non-UAP or NCAA school. 
Abdelia again coming from Tawi Tawi City, Mindanao. Went to DLSU Dasmarinas. A very nice and sprawling campus in the south. And a lot of uh, big names in volleyball also coming from, uh, also tracing their roots from Las Aldas Marinas. Twenty-three, twelve. The Philippines looking to put the finishing touches. One point away. On this win, and we get the match point against a perennial third-place team behind Thailand and Indonesia, but that will not hold water in this Southeast Asian Games. The Philippines will eliminate Vietnam in the running to make it to the final four. Match point for the Philippines. Who will it be? Polvorosa to Espejo. Vietnam trying to prolong this one. Not anymore. Tu Than Thuan running out of gas, running out of steam as the Philippines eliminates and extinguishes Vietnam's run of podium finishes in the Southeast Asian Games. The Philippines will advance to the semifinals. They improving will, the record to 2-0. And, oh. and uh, they have uh, pushed Vietnam into extinction. The Philippines will enter the knockout stage after playing their final match against Indonesia. Which will be on Friday. A lot of respect being shown. Our coaches, Dante Linsenorin, Sherwin Meneses, and coach Dom De La Cruz. What a game played by our national players from start to finish. They were consistent, they were disciplined, and they played the game plan that they drew up against a team favored to take care of the Philippines today. Instead, the shoe was on the other foot, a dominant third set performance after a tight second set win. Eventually, back to back three set sweeps for our men's team in the volleyball competition. And this is what we've been praying for, the progress, the continuation of the development of our national teams in the sport of volleyball. Philippines, we haven't dropped a set yet here in Group B, and we will be back to discuss this big win by the Philippines against Vietnam when we return right here on SNA.